As the former governor general seeks a second term with La Francophonie. The re-election rethink. We'll see how this plays out in the final decision. A tenure tainted by allegations of lavish spending. CTV National News with Lisa Laflamme. Good evening. As we go to air tonight, the Prime Minister is traveling to the International Summit of French-speaking nations. La Francophonie, as it's called, is selecting a new leader this week. And former Governor General Michael Jean, in the job since 2014, wanted a second term. However, just hours before his plane took off, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau revealed he is no longer backing her bid. Trudeau worked with Mikhail Jean in her role as the first woman to lead the organization. Now she may be the first secretary general not to get a second term. In part, it's over expenses. Kevin Gallagher has the details. As Justin Trudeau travels to Armenia tonight to represent Canada, the prime minister is abandoning a prominent Canadian's bid to continue leading la francophonie. Chers amis, De la francophonie. Former Governor General Michel Jean has served as Secretary General of the Organization of French Speaking Nations since 2014 and wanted another term. The government today said it will instead back a different leader. We have tremendous respect for Madame Jean's track record, particularly as it relates to the education and empowerment of women and girls. With respect to the choice of the next Secretary General, Canada will join the consensus view, as is the organization's custom. Trudeau had expressed support for Jean as recently as the G7 summit in June, but her candidacy was hampered by news reports that she expensed half a million in taxpayer dollars for renovations made to her Paris apartment and a $20,000 piano. Jean says she's been the target of a smear campaign and says Ottawa put her in a residence in dire need of repairs. Quebec Premier-designate Francois Legault, who is traveling with Trudeau, today called for a new management style. The consensus of the 84 member states and governments forming around Rwanda's foreign minister. La ministre des Affaires étrangères du Rwanda, Louise Mushikiwawo. With key support from French President Emmanuel Macron. African nations have been unanimous in their support for that candidacy. Uh, they, they want to keep the head of that organization within an African country. With the numbers stacked against Jean, backing Louise Mushikiwabo could also help Canada win support for a coveted seat on the powerful United Nations Security Council. That just made it impossible for Mikhail Jean to get a renewal in that mandate. I think the wisest thing for her would have been to step back. An official familiar with the file says Canada decided to pull its support from Jean after new Francophonie minister Melanie Joly arrived in Armenia and determined the former governor general had no chance to win. The only country supporting her now is Haiti, the country of her birth, Lisa. Interesting. All right, Kevin Gallagher traveling with the Prime Minister tonight. Prime Minister Thank you, made Kevin. Those comments at the Francophonie Summit in Armenia, where another prominent Canadian lost her job. Mikhail Jean was replaced today as the organization's Secretary General. CTV's Kevin Gallagher is at the summit and has more on the French disconnection in this case. Kevin. Lisa in victory, new Francophonie Secretary General Louise Mushikiwabo promised more transparency. The Rwandan politician didn't mention Mikael Jean by name, but the former governor general was criticized for her spending after news reports surfaced about expensive renovations to her taxpayer-owned Paris apartment. Even before the summit began, the prime minister pulled his support. It's a question of simple math, but if there is an African consensus uh, around a particular candidate, uh, we would respect that consensus. De quel côté de l'histoire? Jean had urged members to promote human rights, seen as a veiled shot against Rwanda, which angered the country's president. She's bitter, she's angry. I think it was outright wrong. The prime minister says he did address concerns over Rwanda's human rights record with Kagame. But Justin Trudeau insists the best way to tackle these issues is to engage Lisa through organizations like the Francophonie. All right, Kevin Gallagher in Yaravan, Armenia tonight, back in Ottawa tomorrow. Thanks, Kevin.